Hi guys, welcome back. Um, this is Jen um, Wren, um, as I'm known as Jen Wren. Uh, today I'm going to um, make some corners because what I did when I was started to do a video yesterday, I actually tore my corners. I don't know what happened, but anyway, um, it happened. So I had no metal um, little clip things to go on top of this. So what I thought then that I'd have a go of making some. So I have a, a white one. This is a white one that I have um, I got it off something, I don't know what it was, uh, whether it was an album or whatever it was. And I sort of took a look at that to make mine, which is like that. But instead of making it square, I did an oval, but I also, a uh, half moon type thing or quarter moon. But then I thought, um, I wonder if I could punch it. So I got my corner punch and I punched, that's my corner punch that I use. And then I corner punched it. So I thought that was quite nice. So this piece here was made like that and I used some um, bronze uh, ink, alcohol ink on, on that one there. Um, I used, the, the cardboard I used was um, a manila folder, I cut it up and then I covered it with a strip of this and that's um, somewhere here, I have a piece, there it is there, that's a piece I've covered, so I'll cut it two inch length with two inch wide. So that was pretty cool. But then this morning I found this. Without me inking, I thought, cool, I so love that. Like it's real rustic and and it was very shiny. So I sanded it down with a sand block. Mind you, it's my nail sand block. And I took all the shine off. So that should um, be able to glue okay. So I'm going to um, put that one there aside. And these are the little, the ones that I made out of, without having anything on them. So I've made four of those and they fit really good. This is an eighth of an inch, um, thick so I allowed a little eighth of an inch spine so they fit on quite nice and I was going to paint them that was my first effort mind you I went through a lot of um, bits of cardboard before I got to something that I was happy with so I'm going to cut this off two inches wide Or do I need two inches? Yeah, I'll cut it two inches. I sort of don't really want to waste much, but I'll do the scoring first and then I'll cut it. So I went, um, I measured in, went one inch. Um, I'll go this way, I can see it better. I went one inch. So I scored there, then I went an eighth of an inch, so I'll score that right down. Then I'll go an eighth of an inch right down, that's all I need for my little spiny bit. And then I went a quarter of an inch. 
that gives me the piece for the back so I've done that quarter of an inch that gives me that little fold there at the back so I'll go this way now um, oh I went should have went I've got to mark quarter of an um, I've got a mark, I forgot about that. Um, go an inch there. Just wondering, will I go a quarter of an inch? Well, we'll do one of each. So I'll go a quarter of an inch. So I'm going to put a pencil line there for a quarter of an inch if I can see it. Yes, I can see it. So I'll measure again, turn this around so it makes it a bit easier. So it will go in slot. So I'll go a quarter of an inch here. That's where I need to make, like for the shape of my, um, what do you call it? my little quarter moon thing so I'll go one inch um, to there then I'll go an eighth of an inch which is there then I shall go a quarter of an inch I've got that right there yep then I'll go a quarter of an inch there so then I'll do another one it's hard to see the lighting's not very good here at the moment quarter of an inch there so I'll go um, go an inch to there then I'll put a line No, I won't do that one because I'm going to do the other, aren't I? So I'll put there an eighth of an inch and then I'm going to go a quarter of an inch. So I'll cut those two out if I can see my lines. This is a bit gluey from yesterday when I was doing those silver ones so I'll cut that one out then I'll cut that piece out I hope I've got it all down pat so now I need to cut in um, yeah into there so what I'm going to do now is cut we can see the score line so I'm going to cut that piece out and that piece out there so it's that little corner there I'm going to cut out so I'll cut that one out now I'll score that and then I'll score that little piece there not score it but fold it I should say not score it so I've got so there's my little um, what's the name there so then I'm going to fold on that score line and then fold on the other score line just press them down a bit that makes it more easier and I'll go the other one the same way so that's that one there and it'll meet up quite evenly there but I need to take off a piece here so I'll cut off from that there across 
and I guess and I'll just put a little neck here to cut that one there across hopefully I've got it right so I'm going to cut that on an angle to do with my first score line that's facing me Get that mark there I'll cut that one off, then I'll cut this one off. Easier to face it that way, might be able to see it a little bit better. Okay, so then I've got that. So I'll punch a hole. Oh no, this one I haven't got. I've got lines on that one. So I'm going to cut out, use something round. But I don't think my, would that be big enough? I'm going to see my, there. go like that maybe this is not going to give the bigger yeah it needs to come out a lot more I should have used the other it's too um, shallow I need to cut out a quarter of an inch okie dokie and that one there there and then from that one there to there so I can see it a lot better so I'm just going to use this to make my um, quarter circle and then I'll cut that out So there we go there and I've only got to ink it up when I come to use it. So I'm going to use a little piece of what I had left over if I can find that little piece that I've um, chopped out. Okay, where did that go to? I'm not going to be able to find it but so I'll just use a piece of cardboard here and then I can trim it down so I'm just going to stick this in if my glue will work but that one's not going to work so I'll use open up a new bottle Okay, that all off, take that little piece off, and hopefully it shall work. So I'm just going to run a bit of glue down there, just so that I can get this to hold. A little bit to hold there. Um, put that underneath it. Hopefully, it will hold. And when it dries, I will trim it off. So 
So that looks pretty good on there, I reckon. What do you think? I just need to get it to glue. As long as it doesn't glue to my... Maybe if I can put that in there. That shall hold it enough. So there's one done. So I'll do the other one. This one here I'm going to punch it. The um, pattern out on this one. So I'll do that before I do any scoring. Because I found it really hard yesterday to... Um, punch or get it to go in because it's very tiny and it's okay I've got it in so now I'm going to oh my gosh it's pretty oh. well I partly got it punched Oh my goodness, pretty hard work punching that one out, so can I get that out, so there we go, we've got our little piece punched out, gosh that is so hard punching that, so now I'm going to once again cut that little square there out, so I cut past the um, the first score line and just into the second. I'll do the same on this side. So I'm just cutting that little piece there out there. Then I'll score that one. Not score, I mean fold it. Good gracious me. So then I'll do the other one. And then I'll do the same to the other side. And then I'll put it on score. I hope that doesn't interfere. It's gone, um, my computer went black screen so I hope that didn't make any difference bit of luck hopefully it didn't so I'm going to put a mark where I need to cut from here to the other corner and I need to do the same there okay so I'm faintly see a line there so I need to cut that across from there to my first score line and the same on this side cut from there to my first score line there and then I shall fold it over like so and that one could have been cut a little bit more I think A fraction more off that one. It's not going to sit properly. Hopefully that will fit. A little bit off this side. Let's see if that'll that'll eat up meet up perfect. So now I need a little piece of I'll use, well, that's got silver on the back of it. I suppose it should not matter. I think it might be hard to stick. But anyway, I'll pull that piece off. So I'm just going to glue this one down there. Oops, goodness gracious, that's come out a bit too quick. 
be a bit of water in that glue. No, it's coming out too watery. I don't know why that is happening. Yep, no. Goodness gracious, that glue's coming out too watery. Um, got some tacking glue here. See what this one's like. I always use my PVA glue, but the I forgot to wash the nozzles up last night. When I was playing around yesterday, I let everything, all the lids off, which was silly on my part, but anyway, that happens. And this one doesn't want to come down either. Because I never use these glues. Okay, I need pencil to do. I'll sharpen that off. It's gone hard up in the thing, so that's how long since I've used these glues. Anyway. So I'm just going to put that inside there. If I can get that to glue. Try that on my book. So that's that one. And I like that. I reckon that one turned out pretty good too. bit of glue in there. If that's okay, I'll, as long as it don't stick. So that's that one. And then this was this one. So there we go. So I'll put the um, clip on that one there. So a little dry. And then I'll just trim this one off. I've got another little clip there anyway, so I'll just cut this one off. Didn't quite glue properly, but anyway, I'll put that clip back on it. Another clip on there might take a little bit longer to dry. So there's those two. So I'll do some, another lot. So that was pretty good. I like that. That colour's really, really nice. But I think I might um, do the um, one with the punch out. I'll do one of each of the other again. that back in so we're going to go go down an inch so I'm going to score an inch remember we already scored the quarter of it the court scored the inch the eighth of an inch and then the quarter of an inch so now I'm scoring the other side then I'll go the eighth of an inch, then I'll go quarter of an inch. So then I'll 
mark another one out go to there oh, I need to cut it so I'll go another inch because once again we've already got that pre-scored all the way through then I'll go an eighth of an inch then I'll go a quarter of an inch so we've got um, can we see can we see over this side no we can't see either side maybe I'll try and um, score that one down so then I go quarter of an inch maybe it'll come out on the other side then I go the eighth of an inch no it's still not showing so I'll cut that out I'll cut this one out it needs to be on there so then we've got our so-called type square thing not quite a square but anyway well it is a square I think so we go remember we're going to cut in at our first score line from up here to the second line then we're going to cut from the second score line through to that where we've cut there so we've got that you see that so we remove that I'll do the same on this one that's my phone ringing but that's okay we'll just ignore that and then we got that one there So now we're going to fold it, press it down, then we'll do the same on the other score line, fold it and score it. Then we'll score that one. My computer keeps on... Um, going black screen so I hope that doesn't interfere but I'll soon know when I go to pre watch it before I load it up if it does well I'm going to have to go back over and do it again so now we're just going to cut here in that corner and then we'll cut from that corner there I can get it right so we're going to cut straight through to the that's the first score line on an angle like that we can see do the same on the other side and we got that there you can see it easier that side okay we'll do the same for this one And then we'll do the same, fold that one. Then we'll fold that one. And we'll fold that one. And then I'll clip the same as what I did before. It gives that mi nice mitre cut type thing. Okay, so one we're going to 
I'll get rid of this one now. Get rid of that. And then I need another, there's another little corner there we can use. I'll peel that silver off. Hopefully it'll come off. Peel that off. So I'm going to put that again. Oops, that's not the one I wanted. These are the ones we wanted. First of all, I've got a punch it, haven't I? I should have done that before I... Because we are going to have a wee bit of trouble getting it in. Because I did that yesterday and I um, had trouble with it. Because I went and... We'll go through. Okay, and there's this corner. I've just got to get it in just right. Okay, you tip it over and then. Push down. And I think I just broke my punch. I hope not because I want to do the other. I know I didn't. That's good. Because I wanted to do another two. So I'm just going to put this one in now, glue this piece in. And I'll put the fly the glue on. Oh my gosh. Well, there we go. Certainly did it this time. Okay. Wipe that up. I did not put my lid on properly. How good was that? So, put that one there. And I've got glue all over my hands everywhere. Push that up. It's meeting perfectly. So if I've got another little clip. Okay, so I've got that one in there. So that's two. Now this one... I need to cut um, I need my scoreboard again to mark a quarter of an inch somebody's definitely trying to get me but they can wait a couple of minutes it's more than likely my daughter and I find my pencil Okay, use this. So I'll go a quarter of an inch this side and I'll go quarter of an inch there and then my bottle I used one. 
cut my circle so there we go and that's the other one so I'm just going to cut a piece of this off corner to corner I've got glue on the side there so that'll be fine be enough to that one up and I've got another paper clip or those little what's the name clips So there's the other one so there we go that's the silver one they're the paper ones that I've done okay ladies I hope you enjoyed that um, let me know um, how it goes when you do it um, any problems, just um, let me know and I will um, talk you through it again. Thank you for watching. Bye.